The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the very funny, best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. JP. All right. Is that really why you were hired? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's how we get away with murder on this show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but... <laughs> But, You're not supposed to tell him before I, I, we kill uh, him. I know, that's right. Uh, but also, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner. Welcome back, Mr. Jeremy Joseph! <laughs> Excellent having you back there, Jeremy. Great to have you here. Oh, man. Hi. It's been a long time. Hi. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, but if, Salutations. <laughs> if this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend people who have very thin <laughs> skin. So if that's you, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. We've got an excellent show for you guys today. We do. You don't know why? Because Jeremy's here. Yeah. Jeremy I mean, and that JP. always does it. Jeremy and JP. Well, then I just excellent. found out I'm going to be killed. So. Oh. <laughs> well, not out, not until after the show. Right. Oh, we'll Jesus wait. Christ. That's we'll no wait. fun. <laughs> yeah. We need you. We need you Put for the me next out of my goddamn hour and misery. Half or so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, we've got an excellent show for you guys today. We've got hot topics, of course. Love it. I love it. Uh, we have Never Have I Ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas. A draft and is always a shitty situation. Uh, but yeah, um, but before we get to all that stuff, we like to talk about what's happened to us over the last couple of weeks for Jeremy and uh, last week for me and JP. Uh, we call it our week week recap, and JP is always anticlimactic. So we're gonna co- we're gonna start with you. I feel like I did stuff. I think you did. I did. Uh huh. I wasn't involved. No. Yeah. Oh, I uh, I went bowling. Oh no shit. By God, I sure did. Oh my God. I went from second place to sixth place, so what? I bowled real good. <laughs> <laughs> what wow. the f- Fuck. <laughs> oh, I bowled so bad. I didn't feel good. Were you just too high? No, man. No. I just didn't feel good. I called in to work Friday and fuck it. I feel, felt a little better on Saturday. And that weighed on your conscience enough where it fucked up your bowling. <laughs> no, I just physically couldn't fucking. You def- bowling is a very physically demanding sport. So I'll have sure you know. Uh, you yeah, know. right. Hey, man, you go bowling. Uh, I, you I, come bowl for three or four games, I guarantee you. <laughs> You're going to be so fucking sore for the next two days, dude. I, I sent uh, JP, or no, we got sent uh, a TikTok from a listener, and it was, an, it was a Some fem- woman. It was a female comedian. No, make- thank you. <laughs> right. That's what I said. <laughs> Making fun of bowling, and I loved it. I thought it was great. Good. Would yeah, that be good. a content creator? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure would. Yeah. All right. It sure, sure would. Sure was. Yeah. Uh, anyway, That's my so. accent coming through. I didn't, I didn't say the C word. <laughs> My Chicago accent. Went and played poker in Hayesville Saturday night. How'd you do? Good. Good. Awesome. Good. Spectacular. Good. There, it's not hard. Oh, really? No. Yeah. They get really, really drunk, and uh, they uh, may or may not have had some gummies before I got there. <laughs> so, oh, dude, it was a blast. I'm it sure was, it was hilarious. But, you, but you here's the rent. problem with that: whenever that happens to me, I can never catch fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. I can never catch a well, fucking we don't nec- we weren't necessarily playing like uh fucking Texas Hold'em or anything. We were playing just variety of games. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No. <laughs> mostly mostly regular Hold card me. games. Oh. But, Reverse bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uno for money. Yeah, that's how the fuck would that work? Uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we've bet on some. We bet on some crazier shit. If you can play it for clothes, that. you can play it for money. Very Damn good. skippy. 
<laughs> but yeah, man, I'd say that's about it. You didn't do anything else other than that? I don't think so. Oh, I went and got new tires. My back hey, my back tires good finally. Job. Dude. They were fucking You should have seen them, bro. I Steel have. Belts? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cords were shown. Cords on, were shown. Oh, yeah. There's a big bubble in the on the inside of the rear passenger one. Oh, yeah. Like it was they were bad. And he was like, I only got one, but I got one that's a little taller. And I was like, will that hurt anything? And he's like, not really. I was like, well, fucking do it. You're an idiot. Yes, it will. What will it hurt? It will definitely hurt it. If, if it's if it's like a front-wheel drive vehicle and, and you've got one tire taller on one side and one shorter on the other side, it absolutely but will But he's sitting on one side. Oh, okay. What will it fuck wait. up? The transmission, dude. Will it? Yes. Oh, well. That's <laughs> I don't I hope that's that covered. Second. That's why you have a good warranty. I hope that's covered. <laughs> It, yeah, I that. once on my that piece of shit Ranger that that guy bought yeah. for yeah. five hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Try it now. <laughs> it had a bad uh, ball joint on the front uh, driver's side tire, and I let it get so worn that it it went flat because <laughs> I wore through the sidewall. Oh fuck! Wow! wow. I I came out to the parking lot, <laughs> and the tire is flat. <laughs> Because there was little microscopic holes. I had let it get that bad. But, like, the inside tread was great. Fun. Yeah. Because it wasn't touching the road at all. At all. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Uh, shit. Is that it? Yeah, man. That's all? Uh, I did that today, actually. Yeah. Now I feel like I shouldn't have. Yeah? Did you, uh, did you eat anything fun? Fuck no. No. No, you're worthless. But, uh, but I love you. I hope you know that. Yeah, thanks, man. I, I can feel the love. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fucking excellent week, let's, ladies let's and gentlemen. Let's hear what Jeremy's been up to. No, we're not. He's no gonna, let's hear it. I got I to gotta He's got shit. Yeah, he's going to be the crescendo. We, we right. All, plus I we, didn't say you could. I didn't say I wanted you to go <laughs> after him. I just <laughs> said let's just hear what get, Jeremy's been up to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Call clock on Scotty. Yeah. Please um, do. My AR-15 finally showed up. Oh, God help us all. I am oh, so fuck. happy. I love uh, the guy that scared of the government just announces to the world what he's got. Oh, in his I know. Fucking gun safe. I well, had to hold on, man. One. To be fair, nobody knows where he lives. This is true. But his address <laughs> is uh -huh. three three no. seven. Stop! Stop. Oh. I'll kick you. The um, numbers of his house almost add up to nine. <laughs> <laughs> and according to Rocky, that's good luck. That's a good omen. Uh, but yes, the AR-15 is here. I made my very first uh, dumbass mistake after buying said firearm. Uh, I I knew it was coming, so I had to go to the to the gun store and get some uh, ammo. I didn't yeah. have any five five six, so I go to Rainier and I go up to him and I'm looking for five five six all over this place, and I go, hey, do you guys just not have any five five six available? And the guy just goes, well, all we have is just right there at the very bottom shelf, and I'm like, oh, that's why I couldn't see it because you know I'm short. So I just so okay, I'm going to buy. You like, are too short to see the, bottom, the bottom shelf. <laughs> shelf like, <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, that was supposed to be funny. Yeah, because I'm fucking short. Okay. Uh, but anyways. So. I don't get it. I don't really get jokes, guys. Uh, <laughs> well. You should know that about me. Humor's yeah. never really been yeah. my thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I decide I'm going to buy 160 rounds of this 5.56 five, that they sell. And I get home and, and I start loading magazines. And I, uh. didn't, I didn't notice until I, I opened the box. It's green tipped. Oh yeah, so you can't go and that's, shoot that. That's why the range. the range has that. <laughs> yeah, plenty of it because yeah, you can't. It's yeah. got a steel pin and it'll beat the shit out of the backstop. <laughs> it sure will. And you want to talk about a worthless fucking thing to have? That a five five six is just too light of a bullet to be armor piercing <laughs> at all, and yet they have armor piercing steel put into it. Yeah, it's just going to bounce off of. Anything. Anything. It might bounce off of aluminum foil. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, so then I have my wife won't let me shoot aluminum foil anymore. <laughs> she won't. Not. That's too bad. Not since the incident. <laughs> uh, so then I ended up having to go and find, go to another gun store, and I actually found some some round uh, range worthy five five six. So I'm very yeah. happy. I wanted to give a uh, a shout out to Lane Baxter. He uh, I was looking for like a scope uh, of decent optics, but I didn't want to spend a shitload. And he sent he sent me to uh, Texas Pre Precision Optics, and I got like a very nice, uh, I mean a pretty nice scope for like two hundred and sixty bucks. I, I was like, oh, that's incredible! So thank you very much, Lane. I yeah, appreciate thanks that. for helping out a guy with his gun shit on a guy I wouldn't trust with a fucking bird scooter. <laughs> yeah, right. 
Yeah. Which, by the way, there's Scotty giving a plug and a recommendation for a company on a scope he's never yet used. <laughs> this is true. It looks like it's good quality. It was cheap, and, and it looks what good. What do you know? The, and, the, and the listener says that he has them on his guns, and he says oh. it holds zero very he well. He also listens, listens to this, to this show. show. <laughs> that should have been your number one He's not a smart hit. man. Yeah. Damn it. I forgot. Which, you by moron. the way, to any of our gun-owning listeners, and to you as well, Scotty, uh-huh. buying ammo at the gun store is the dumbest <laughs> fucking thing you can I do i know you will save 50 percent getting it online, online yeah. and you can buy it a bunch of it oh i know jeremy sent me i, I swear <laughs> ever since ever since i've been talking you've been guns, eyeing that thing <laughs> sure have, yeah. ever since i've been talking about guns jeremy has texted me more in the last five years jeremy has you're, texted me more in the last interested. four days i know i it, it's been kind of fun but yeah jeremy, i didn't think it happened but J- yeah it happened. i tell jeremy that yeah i'm getting i'm getting uh you know an ar and it's gonna be five five six and so jeremy goes well if, if you need some rounds check this out and he sends me a fucking link to go to a website and there is a 50 gallon drum full of 556 five, ammo so there's 14,000 14, rounds. rounds only for 8 grand <laughs> I'm like what the fuck but get right on that you also got a barrel yes. so <laughs> yeah right you gotta you add can't that just get equation. barrels anywhere yeah fuck that harbor freight bucket no you yeah. need a barrel bitch uh, but anyways, so that was uh, that was my whole gun situation. Um, I did want to also. Oh no, I'm not 100 percent sure. I actually was curious if we decided to put together a laughing on the sidelines range day and film out on the range and like because there's a tactical uh, course just south of Wichita and Conway. And I'm I'm Why don't toying, you not announced to everybody where we're gonna be. Oh uh, well, I'm not gonna say what day. Yeah, uh, right. yet. Because we don't know. (laughs) Otherwise, you will, because you keep wanting to share a lot of fucking information (laughs) that you should probably keep to yourself. Yeah, but I think we may end up doing that in the future. But the last thing I wanted to say was uh, I got a very funny video from uh, Matt Shartner. He went to a finally a man, (laughs) man who knows how to create content, good content. Yeah, I uh, he's got more subjects than just bowling. (laughs) Yeah, he goes. He sends me a message uh, that he's at the White Sox game, and I said, "You've got to do the Let's Go White Sox like Jeremy did years ago." So he sends a video of him going, "Let's Go White Sox," and it fucking killed me. I was just imitating a guy at the fucking stand. (laughs) Yeah, after a long rain delay, and there was like. Like 12 people left in the stands and he's trying to start a call and response chant i just thought it was fucking it was hilarious. after midnight when <laughs> oh he was God. doing that uh that sucks but anyways that was my week no man uh, i'm so glad we heard all that i think mm-hmm. oh I man that was totally it. worth it i appreciate it. it but no it's been a very long time since we've seen jeremy joseph so everybody welcome back jeremy joseph how have you been over the last couple of weeks sir better than you i guarantee it for sure mm-hmm but I guess fine. Good, um, good. Fine in my book is like so much better than you've ever been at anything. 100%. Uh, I got a few things I could talk about, but there's one thing in particular that's kind of a longer story. So I'm going to skip most of the shit. And um, <laughs> we got all day, buddy. I, there is one thing, though, that I want to. I don't. <laughs> okay. I, Sorry. You, you got 38 more minutes. <laughs> and that's it. Then that's I'm it. out of here. Okay, fine. Okay, so uh, you know how they say the key to a great relationship is to find someone who gets you, Mm -hmm. right? Okay, so imagine how I felt the other day when my wife walks in and gives me this. (laughs) An electronic yodeling pickle. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. She paid... $15. $14.95, $15. $14.95, and that's a, a steal at twice the price, guys. Right. I'm going to let you guys hear this now. Oh, good. <laughs> I like I, how he repackaged it all I completely. Oh, I got to keep this in mint condition. I got I to gotta get this signed by, by pro- somebody. By someone. By, probably by John Candy. Yeah, yes. For sure. Here's the thing about my wife is she doesn't understand the monster that I am and how this keeps ending up on the mantle because she got it as a joke and I love it more than my own son. 
It is the greatest thing I've ever received in my entire life. That's electronic <laughs> and it yodels, all right? Now, if you ever want to get one, okay, if you can find something like this, like at the gun store or something. Yeah, for uh, sure. That's where you get oh, them. They're going to be so much more money there. Oh, but Jesus, Worth if it. you ever find one... Um, it's not a real pickle. Let me <laughs> let me just be. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> it is not a real pickle. So, oh, that's great. There's that. Oh. Now this other thing. This this is gonna be both fun and kind of hard to listen to. Oh, boy. but I feel like it needs to be said. Okay. All right. So, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, Derby, the city where I live at, passed a law. I don't know if it was through the city council or if it actually went to court, but they passed a law that basically confirmed that the streets in a homeowners association are not paid for by city taxes, nor are they maintained by them. And so they are private property. And as a result of that, it is now legal to drive motor vehicles that are otherwise uh, not street legal oh. on these things, uh, which is fine. I don't give a shit. I'm not buying a fucking golf cart no matter what. Uh, it's not like I live in a real parking restricted area. You can drive your car r real easy and or walk, you lazy prick. <laughs> so just like all rules that kind of expands people's privileges, people have to push the limits of it. Yeah. And so now it's like, you know, they can't drive it on the public streets, but it's like, all I got to do is go one block and I can get to my buddy's house in this other HOA where they allow it. And then that turns to two blocks and then four blocks. And now basically you're seeing a lot of golf carts and side by sides and shit in places you normally would not see them. So I bring that up to bring up this. Uh, you hit one. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I, I wish. Uh, <clears throat> three weeks ago, it was on a Sunday. Early evening, I'm walking my dog. We have a, a nice big park oh, about a half mile from where we live. And uh, it's got like three ball diamonds in it. It's a really nice park. And it's got a nice walking trail around it. So we walk up there. We go around that trail a couple of times and then walk home. And uh, so on this particular Sunday, as I'm walking up there, I see this guy on a fucking golf cart up there with a in a big patch of grass and he's basically like driving real fast in a straight line and then like whipping it around and then coming back and doing the same shit over and over again. And this kind of pisses me off and I'll tell you why. <laughs> every day I walk my dog through this park and every day I see the maintenance crew out there working really hard to keep this thing nice. <laughs> They're either mowing or trimming or pruning or mulching or maintaining the ballparks, whatever. And having been a laborer my entire life, I understand that shit goes uh, a lot of times, you know, unacknowledged and underappreciated. So it really pisses me off when I see people just creating more work for people mm -hmm. who are right. already working really fucking hard. <clears throat> so anyways, <laughs> sorry, my throat's a little dry and I'll explain why as we go into the story. <laughs> um, so anyways, this guy, uh, as I get closer, I see what he's doing. He's got this little red healer with him, little uh -huh. dog, and he's playing a game with it. Basically, the dog is chasing the golf cart, and then he's turning around and chasing the dog, and then the dog is chasing him. And to be honest with you, it to see the joy in this dog's face was actually quite cute. But I'm debating whether or not <laughs> to say this guy, anything to this guy, but as I get closer, I notice that every time he's turning around, that dog's getting closer and closer to the back wheel. Uh-oh. And, you know, he's, he's going to hit it before too long. And so I decided, yeah, I'm going to say something to him. Now, when you confront somebody, it is important to choose your words carefully. I maybe didn't lead with my best foot by yelling out, hey, hey knock it off, fuckhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew it. Yeah, probably not the way you should have started. Oh, great. But I was, I was pissed and it's hot. And so this guy... Like, turns his golf cart around, leaves the dog where he's at, and pulls up on the walking path where I'm walking, like, pulls in front of me, blocking me, oh, and gets out, and he bows up, and he's not intimidating at all. He's, I've probably got 75 pounds on this guy, and he's, it's obvious he's drunk. Oh. I mean, very drunk. And so, uh, 
but but that makes me have to proceed a little bit with caution because being drunk he's probably going to be belligerent uh -huh. especially doing what he's doing but he's yeah he's bowing up on me and he's He's, he goes, what'd you say? I said, <laughs> knock it the fuck Double off. Down. <laughs> Lean into it. I said, you're tearing up the grass, and you're about to hit your dog every time you turn around. And he starts jumping on me about, you know, mind your own fucking business. It's none of your business what I'm doing. I'm just out here playing with my dog. He goes, uh, what did he say? There, there were ball games going on at at the ballparks and he looks at the parking lot and there's cops parked out there he goes hey there's cops right over there go get one if you want good luck with that though your dog's not even on a leash which by the way that's another thing that i found out i have this 90 pound fucking idiot who's not showing the least bit of protective instincts uh. at all he, he would have been eating fucking popcorn watching this <laughs> shit if he had a bucket and so i go just knock it off would you and so He's like, and he gets back in his golf cart and he goes, fuck off. And so he drives back and he goes back to what he's doing. And I'm debating, do I want to be this fucking guy? Which, by the way, uh, he's, he's pointing out that my dog's not on a leash. Um, neither is his dog. <laughs> yeah, right. I was going to say, well. And I'm pretty sure that destruction of public property kind of trumps a minor leash law violation well, not to mention sure. probably public intoxication uh, sure um we're, we're getting to that yeah <laughs> this is gonna get good so i start walking just down the path and it's gonna take me by the ball fields anyway so i'm debating do i say something do i not and then i don't know 20 seconds i hear oh, and i no. look back and sure as fuck he has hit his dog and his dog like jumps up immediately and runs to the golf cart and jumps up on the seat and lays down and I fucking lost it. Yeah. I start heading this guy's way. I went to a level of anger that I'm kind of scared of going to mm -hmm. because I'm just seeing bread. And I unleash a barrage of fucking insults <laughs> on this guy. I know I started off with, you dumb motherfucker. You just had to be a fucking prick, didn't you? <laughs> and I kind of lost track. I motherfucked this guy up one side and down the other, <laughs> basically. But, I mean, I'm like bloodshot eyes. There's spit coming out of my mouth. Oh, yeah. And I, I like... Uh. I scream myself kind of hoarse ah. at this shit. That's why my I'm still feeling sore in my throat from when this happened. Uh huh. And the guy goes, hey, take it easy, man. It was an accident. I said, it wasn't a fucking accident. This is exactly what I warned you about. And he goes, well, the dog's fine. I said, you just ran over a 30-pound dog with a 600-pound golf cart. That dog is not fine. And that's what set me off originally because I saw the way – I've seen dogs get hit by cars before, and mm -hmm. I've seen him jump up and sprint and they go somewhere they lay down and they wait to die yeah they're bleeding internally i said your dog needs to get to the fucking vet immediately and i need to calm myself down here because <laughs> it still pisses me off <laughs> if you want to piss jeremy off hit a dog treat dogs like shit jeremy will come after you he said or he needs to learn to stay the fuck out of the way Oh, oh no i hate this fucking attitude oh. dogs do not understand cars and you're encouraging him to chase your fucking little car that you're not supposed to have oh. and now i'm not even thinking i am striding towards this guy with every intention of ripping him off this <laughs> golf cart and kicking the living <laughs> shit out of him and i get about two steps from him and i hear excuse me and i look up and there's a cop apparently they heard me screaming <laughs> and there's maybe 20 feet behind him there's two more cops and he said what's going on and before this guy could say anything uh i go uh god and i made myself look like such a fucking crotchety old man because <laughs> i couldn't find the fucking words i was so pissed off i said this dumbass is hot rodding around <laughs> He's been tearing up the grass, and now he just ran over his dog. Oh, fuck. He's been hot rodding his golf I cart said, around the park. hot rodding around like an old fucking man. Okay, boomer. So oh. this guy immediately gets up out of his golf cart on the opposite side from me and says, and, and I'm not making this up. His dog's not on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> Public drunkenness is an ugly thing, kids. This is why you should not do this. Oh, God.
And the cop starts explaining to him that you're not supposed to have a golf cart in the park. Uh, he's, he explained to them, in this park, not, not illegal to not have your dog on a leash. You're, they welcome it, in fact. As long as your dog is well-behaved, you can have your dog off of a leash. So I wasn't breaking any rules, turns out. Um, and he starts explaining shit to this cop, and I just I go, uh, excuse me, I hate to interrupt, but his dog needs medical attention now. And I point to the dog, and the cop looks over at the dog, sees what I'm seeing, which he's got blood coming out of his mouth and nose. Oh. And so the <sighs> cop immediately, and, and I applaud him for this, he, uh, he told this guy, he said, sir, I just want you to know I'm officially detaining you for disorderly conduct. And uh, officer, whatever this other guy was, is going to, I believe he said, confiscate your animal so that we can get him to animal control where we have a veterinarian on standby. And of course, this guy is going on about how he's, you got no fucking right to arrest me. And it's like, it's so we can take your dog. That's, that's why <laughs> right, we're doing it. I have right. to officially do something right. so that I can take your property. And uh, yeah, the, the guy in the golf cart, he, now he has to Mirandize the guy. Yeah. And because he's not done talking to us. <laughs> And this guy goes on this absolutely incoherent tirade. I heard twice in there uh, something about dog not on leash. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a small crowd coming around us, and I surprised no cell phones out. Wow. Um, but he like starts appealing to the crowd. Do you want to be in a park where the dogs aren't on a leash? Jesus Christ. He didn't get the backup he thought he was going to get. Uh, so anyway, one of the cops takes this dog and they basically, they tell me I can go on my way. And so as I go around the park, as I'm leaving, they're still there dicking with this guy. And so later on about eight 30 that night, I hear my doorbell rings and I go and it's the same cop. And I'm like, Oh great. What did this fucker tell him I did? <laughs> and he said, well, we just need to get your statement. He, he had me yeah, right. give my, my name and address and phone number before I carried on with my dog. Again, meanwhile, my dog is laying there, letting kids hug all over him and shit. <laughs> his, his dad's about to get into a fucking fist fight and he doesn't give two. <laughs> so the guy comes and he asks for my statement and I basically tell him the same thing I told you, except the part where I was going to kick the shit out of him. <laughs> you left that out. I, I did leave out. that out. I, I thought that might do me some harm. <laughs> and he, uh, he said, unfortunately, the dog didn't no. make it. No. Which is exactly what I thought happened, mm. just based on the way he responded. And he said, so I needed to get your statement. He said, we've already gotten him for DUI, public intoxication, be uh, disorderly conduct, uh, destruction of public property, and now we're going to throw animal cruelty onto that. He said, I don't know if it'll stick, but we want to make the strongest case against him. He said, what's most likely going to happen is this guy will plead guilty to the, the DUI, Bullshit, right. and then they'll drop the rest of the shit and just give him a great big fucking fine for oh. it. But yeah. This is why you don't do stupid shit. Jesus Christ. But yeah. <sighs> Just his whole fucking demeanor. Uh, do you wish you'd have whooped his ass now? I, I wish you would Because I would like to go find him myself. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> kind of. I would but like I'm to afraid go find if myself. I would, if I had, that nothing would have happened yeah. and I would have gotten arrested. Yeah, yeah, right. right. I would like to see him again. Which wouldn't and, bother me a and bit. And now <laughs> I could. But I'd feel better. The nice thing about this animal cruelty charge on his record, even though that it's probably going to get dropped, it's still going to be on his record that he's been arrested for it. And it will probably keep him from ever owning a dog ever again. That's great. So good. Fuck that guy. God. Oh, I, I was really hoping for such a much That's why I said it wasn't going to be story. easy to listen to. That but, sucks. But oh. no, I mean, I, I could just tell the way that dog shot up immediately yeah. yeah he's that's sucks. something something broke in him uh oh that's awful but that whole or he needs to learn to stay out of fucking way fuck oh you. god damn it i just oh fucking terrible terrible human beings they're out there mm -hmm. they exist jesus well do you have a good story to fucking turn this around because now i'm depressed <laughs> i i know a guy who 
uh, spent too much money on his <laughs> shitty optic for his AR-15. Yeah, yeah. And it's hilarious that, yeah. that he's now he's got to buy a whole new one because this one ain't going to be worth a shit because he took the I advice say, of a listener. And, hey, we'll we'll see what happens. I'm really excited. I'm, and now me and JP can go and shoot uh, guns together. This guy doesn't even know not to buy green tip ammo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fucking know. I didn't know. It'll say on the box. Oh, it did. Yeah. It did. It straight up did. It's weird. I'm an idiot. Uh, but anyways, anything else you guys got? Anything at all? I'm kind of tapped out. I told you about the pickle, right? Yes, you fucking okay. did. Right. <laughs> yeah, we heard it, Yodel. Yeah. The Yodel and fucking pickle. Oh, that's great. Okay, fine. Well. You want me to play it again? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Week Week Recap. We've got an excellent show for you guys today. We've got hot topics that we're going to move on to. And uh, I, uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about is... I have officially bought tickets to go see Mr. JP, Derek the Rec Alders, Steve Peters, and Travis Cagle at CSB. Nice. Yeah. Really? Yes. What's, uh, what's admission for that? Uh, it's like 12 bucks for general admission. Dude, that is that is a comedy club quality show. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Yes, it really it is. is. It is. That um, is well worth that money. Yeah. I'm actually taking a, a listener of the show to the show as well. Is it, it oh. JP? No, <laughs> no. Because he needs a ride because yeah, yeah. he's got his shit tires. Because I'm uh, yeah. fucking up his I, transmission. Yeah, you're exactly right, sir. <laughs> no, it's actually really cool. It's a, uh, I work with him, and he comes up to me, and he's like, hey, would you want to go to the show like our wives and us go, go see? Uh, and I was like, I've already got tickets, dog. So I really am excited to see JP and, and Derek and Steve especially. But I guess it's like a competition, right? Yeah, man. Isn't it like a So bracket? fucking pick one. Oh, well, I'm excited to see all. I'm rooting for all of you. Is it really a competition if I'm I haven't been you. asked to judge? Okay. I'm totally rooting for you. But definitely not Derek. <laughs> Fuck Derek. <laughs> Derek's won a, enough. If he wins another fucking competition, I will I will make fun of him forever. I'm still making fun of him forever. But but uh, but no, I'm really excited. So if yeah, you guys man. haven't yet, because uh, <clears throat> I'm sure with... <laughs> us there's four tickets that have already been bought oh, I, I don't know my friends i don't know how many people they can put in there but it's got to be getting close i was gonna say out. it's got to be getting close with the talent level that's gonna be there yeah it's it really is gonna be a phenomenal show yeah i'm i'm telling you so if just you, you four no, no there's no, like, it's like okay, 15 there's three or four more Oh, I thought it was I more than like that. Twelve, I think. Is it twelve? Okay, so. fifteen would basically be like an open mic. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna you're gonna do that, five. That's minutes. either gonna be a four hour show. Yeah. Or, and it starts at like open mic. What five thirty? Yeah. So it's like in the middle of the day almost. Not, a.m. Not or quite. p.m. Uh, a.m. Okay. Yeah, you got to get there fucking early. All right. So line no. forms hey. at three. <laughs> yeah, you got to be there at three a.m. Uh, but no, if you haven't if you haven't yet, seriously, go and get tickets if you are interested in going because it's going to be an excellent excellent show, and um, yeah, some laughing on the sidelines comedians are probably gonna win that motherfucker. Just saying. Um, but yeah, you want to go, JP, or Jeremy? Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> when is it? Sunday. Uh, August eight. August August eighteenth on a Sunday. Oh yeah, I'm busy all through August. Okay, it's <laughs> worth a shot, especially I mean, on the 18th. Yeah, well, I mean, you're having it on the Lord's Day. That's, I got church. Yeah, and I, I, I'm a youth pastor now. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> I did not. How many mm -hmm. bands are you managing now? Well, I've dropped most of my bands now. Now I'm just managing that yodel and pickle. <laughs> that's good. That's that's probably taking a lot of time. I, I, I went to anyway. all of my guys and I was like, unless you can <laughs> fucking match this level of talent. <laughs> None of you are worth anything to me. <laughs> oh, that's so goddamn funny. Um, but yes, moving on, I did want to at least bring up I I I really like Shane Gillis. I like I really like Shane Gillis. But did you see him do the Trump His and Biden? Trump and the, Biden oh thing. my god, at Kill Kill Tony? Yeah. Holy shit. That was probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen good. Shane Gillis do. Yeah, it was pretty good. If you have not yet seen that, it, it's like two hours long, two hours and like 15 minutes. It's worth every fucking second of your time. So go check that out. I have never watched that or, or listened to that. Is it a podcast? I've seen clips on it's, TikTok. It's, it kind of is. It's, it's like a, it is kind of like an open mic sort of, mm. um, but they have comedians come and get on Kill Tony and they get to do a minute to see to show their talent or whatever and if if people like them uh, like their minute they will be successful it's basically he's basically made kill tony 
uh, the fucking Tonight Show when Johnny Carson. So it's was there. America's Got Talent. Yeah, for comedians. Where you only get a minute, a minute, which is all that they should get. I would not do well on that. Did you hear how long that fucking story was? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. And it ends with a dead dog. Yeah, so. right. Yeah, that's not good. Ba-dum. Yeah, exactly. But um, but no, it's it's really good. If you haven't, you should look into it. It's absolutely hilarious. But obviously, the most uh, up to date news. Uh, obviously, we're going to talk about it because it's what everybody's talking about, anyways. And that is, we had the uh, the RNC, the Republican National Convention, over the weekend. Oh my god, um, eh, this is. We're in a fucking simulation. This is a fucking movie. I'm, I'm, oh, we're fucked either <laughs> so I'm way. like, this is crazy. Hulk Hogan is out tearing his fucking shirt up. Uh, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. That's right. Some good shit. Fantastic. Uh, it's fantastic. Oh, my God. What in the world? Uh, I, Who the fuck said, hey, I got Hulk Hogan on the phone. He wants to come on, <laughs> and he wants to be in the, on the RNC. He wants to do a speech. And he wants to do a speech. <laughs> Who said, you know, that might just work? And it did. Oh, of course it did because yeah, the did. people that, oh, they're fucking <laughs> morons. If, if him and Trump would have done that Mega Powers handshake, oh, oh God, that would have been would awesome. Be or made Hogan his fucking running mate. Oh, Jesus Christ. He could have came out with the fucking shirt on that said, Hogan's my hero. Yes, that would be so That would have been awesome. dope. But um, but yeah. So now there was a good show. That's probably the funniest <laughs> sitcom about Nazis. What was that? Oh, sure sure it is. oh, I didn't even. I, I've never seen it. <laughs> of course you haven't. <laughs> I haven't. It, it's a. It's quite old. It, oh, okay. it is a uh, comedy sitcom from the what late sixties, early seventies. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> uh, real late sixties, where they make Nazis look just as cute as little toys. <laughs> And the uh, lead character, uh, Colonel Hogan, uh, in real life was an incredible pervert. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Like, he used to invite guests over for dinner parties and then jerk off in front of them. Oh, my that, Lord. Good guy. Oh, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. I can hear your phone. Yeah. Um, but, the, no, the only, like, Hulk Hogan thing that I've seen that was, like, super, super cringy was, was I think it was called the Tooth Fairy. Wasn't that, <laughs> wasn't that him? That was awful. It was terrible. It was Hulk Hogan in like a fucking oh, tutu. Yeah. Suburban Commando. I've never seen that. He was in one of the Three Ninjas movies. Yeah. Um, no, he was in he was in like the the shittier version of Three Ninjas. It was he was definitely. He always him. referred to it as. I mean, that's when he got he was working on that when he gave himself the moniker of Hollywood. Hogan, oh God. Because he was an actor now, and he always referred to it as his Three Ninjas movie. Yeah. The which I. I bet it didn't center around him. <laughs> I bet he was a side character at best. I, I think he was I the main take, bad guy. Was he? Okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, but sure, uh, No Holds Barred. Great, <laughs> great <laughs> fucking great movie. <laughs> really, really oh, good. Oh, Lord. Uh, but yeah, so obviously you have the RNC. You get to see all these people giving speeches that you just kind of roll your eyes at and go, I cannot believe that this is actually happening. But then we actually get the the drop, which I don't believe has been like official official yet, right? But apparently Joe Biden is fucking not running. Oh, he's anymore. officially it's dropped. Official. Is, okay, they have official. They have but not they, named their candidate. Their yet. candidate yet, which is most likely going to be Kamala Harris. And I don't think they can do that until the DNC, which I'm pretty sure is like August. If I, I bet I she hasn't stopped cackling. Oh no, hundred percent no. Uh, it's crazy. This is this is a fucking movie that we're living in, too. This is insane. It's a bad movie. It's a really bad movie. It's one I'd walk out of the theater. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. But, hey, that's what we get. Oh, my God. This is going to be so crazy. But uh, but we have now had. I want to see them debate. I do, too. I really do, too. Uh, but it, I don't, do you think it'll happen? Oh, yeah. They'll have to. Do you to. think? I hope oh, so. Yeah, it doesn't have, have to. to. Well, they have to both agree to it. That's true. I don't if, know that he'll If she agree had to any it. sense, she would stay the fuck away. Well, <laughs> yeah. I don't know that he'll agree. Oh, he'd that. shred her. I think so too. Because yeah. he doesn't play by any rules. No. And you know what? The best thing they could possibly do is give him the same rules that they had on the previous debate where he can't interrupt and they turn his microphone yeah. off. I'm dead serious. But well, yeah, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I, hey, I'm still I'm still voting for Perot. <laughs> yeah. That's, my uh, heart is there. I hear Actually, you. I don't recognize any authority as a sovereign citizen. Uh, <laughs> I am my own country. Right. Um, and I'll drive my golf cart wherever I want. Yeah. Uh, but so the, the only reason why I'm bringing that up is to move on. We have now had a full week and a half, I think, of since the assassination attempt on Trump. Mm -hmm. And I think there has been 
there has been a lot of uh, videos and evidence and more things that we're finding out about it. And I it I was right when I said it was fucking sketchy. It's super oh, it's, fucking sketchy. It gets more sketchy. It's sketchier than shit. Oh, dude. They the whole like slope roofs thing, and then the other thing I saw today was a was the FBI on said slope roof after the after the guy was shot, and they're washing everything off with a fucking hose. Now the the they were just gonna freeze it so they could snowboard down it, Scotty. Exactly, which that I'm I, I'm kind of into, sure. but they had the Secret Service director in front of Congress today. Yeah. Oh, and she me. she they was fucked her up, roasted. Dude. <laughs> fucking roasted. Dude, AOC tore her a new ass. That's how you know something's right, bad. Is if right. AOC is dude, roasting you, ripped Jesus. her up, dude. Oh, yeah, that God. was uh, yeah, not I, good. I am uh, I good. I am convinced it was definitely a, a an inside job of some yeah. some kind. I'm almost positive it was. Well, <sighs> I am still. This is. My, I'm a science-minded person, mm-hmm. and I always like to quote for this shit Carl Sagan, who summed this up as the scientific method the best. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And just because you can show mm. pictures, still frames, select still frames, I, I think it was probably more just fucking incompetence. Uh, you're probably right. Um, no way. I mean. No way. I can no tell way you it was it not. just incompetence. Not for a 20-year-old guy to go up on the fucking roof that he went up Oh, that on. guy was very competent. No, no, no. I'm talking about the fucking... Dude, if it's incompetence... Dude, these are the fucking best trained people. In no, they the weren't. Fuck. This was the wor- this was like the worst. Well, yeah, you know, you gave him the, squad. He gave him the shittiest S- right. uh, secret service agents out of all, and then none of them. They're still secret service agents, man. God, dude, but they were like, uh, they were. Awful. You want to fucking go one on one with any of them? Yeah. Oh, they'll destroy that you. fucking chick. Took twenty minutes they, to put her goddamn well, gun in her holster. She, I yes, I she, will take if her. If she saw you, she would take about two seconds when to they fucking were, put it back out and shoot you in the fucking head. When they were at the hospital, she is still. still this is twenty minutes gun. later. Yeah, she's true. still trying to it, put it, it in it her was, fucking holster. I don't know, man. The whole thing is just fucking weird. I, this uh, this is a a big problem you see in this all over the place. Uh, I see it in my industry a lot now. Uh, over the last few years in aircraft, people are being promoted and hired for reasons that have nothing to do with their abilities. 100%. 100%. And it's all about looking good. And yep. it's about I, like showing off how woke we are. Yep. Yep. I, and I agree with you 100%. That position should never be a fucking DEI shit. Yeah. Yeah. Never. Hey, man. I'm just saying, <laughs> on our podcast, it's this totally one, okay. It's totally sure. okay, right. But and no, you're uh, the only one who will show up. F- I, I fucking quit. Why am I here? <laughs> I know. I but, thought about it myself. But yes, you are exactly right. It's a smart right. move. You are exactly you, right. I quit. I got a fucking yodel and pickle out of it. Did you see his security detail the next day at the RNC? All of them. Six foot five dudes. Yeah. All guys. Yeah. Why, why doesn't a guy like Trump have his own? I think that, that he does... Um, and he is only going to use them now, at least what I can read, because yeah. the security details that he'd been getting were that. So, but I, I honestly do think, Jeremy. I'm. I mean, I've uh, I've watched video after video, sniper after sniper, like actual guys that that have a history of, um, you know, shooting or or like Tim Kennedy. Tim Kennedy's a Green Beret sniper, right? And He's he, also full of shit. You what? No, oh, he he leads up all those fucking hunting Hitler and fucking okay. conspiracy theorists. I'm shows. with you with that one. Okay, uh, the whole hunting Hitler. There's also yeah. another gentleman that's also a uh, a Marine Corps sniper who broke down this this shot as if it was a a setup, and it it's oh dude, it looks so fucking sketchy because those guys, those the sniper team, the counter snipers, mm-hmm. they are looking like right five five hundred yards away. They're sweeping all kinds of other shit. But I'm I know I'm gonna be a conspiracy theorist or whatever. I think there were two shooters. I'm dead serious. I think there were two. And that's was one on the grassy knoll. Yeah. Was one in the uh book depository? The grassy knoll on top of the uh the water tower. Okay. Yeah, the that grassy makes knoll sense. on top of the water tower, yeah. All right. <laughs> no, well, no really it wouldn't do. be there. This fucking slopes <laughs> roof. Yeah, exactly. You can't shoot off a of slopes roof. That's a fact. But 150 yards away, not even. It was like 125. 100, 130 or whatever yards away. Yeah, fucking right. Here's here's what 
I can tell you is some people have said that this was Trump setting the shit up. And that I can tell you, knowing what I know about the gun. No way. It is not accurate enough for somebody to make a precision shot where they come that close to his head and not. <laughs> exactly. That, that particular rifle has something like a three to five minute of angle, like what they call a cone. Yes. And I love a good cone. It's sure you do. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> Waffle cone. Cones are awesome. Mm-hmm. Or a shooting cone. Whatever. Sure. My dog hates them. <laughs> <laughs> right. But it's. You cannot trust that rifle, even with the best shooter in the world. You could not trust that rifle to get him in the ear and not hit him in the head. Yeah, yeah. The, at at a hundred yards, one minute of angle. I is think an it itch. wasn't supposed to hit him at all. Who do you I think? think the firefighter think was the missed. fucking target? Yeah, oh, I God. agree. I feel so terrible for that family. That's so yeah. bad. Uh, but yeah, th- I, there's no way that Trump went up there and be like, "Hey." Get, shoot me in the shoot ear. Shoot at me, but only hit my ear. He's yeah. going to go up there with a much better gun and a much <laughs> more experienced shooter yeah. yes. than a twenty-year-old 20 douchebag with glasses. By the way, and yeah. it was an AR. It was an AR-15 with a red dot with no magnification. Is at least that's the the gun that they're telling you know. Yeah, I mean, that's the gun they're showing that's, you exactly. It, it's it's hard to explain to people, especially if they've only watched movies and shit, mm-hmm. how far a hundred yard shot truly is. Even with a good magnified scope, like on on uh, movies and shit, they always show them looking at somebody like a half mile away mm-hmm. and getting like details yeah, on their face. Right, no, it does not, not work that works. way. You if even with a really good scope at a hundred yards, if you put the crosshairs on the bullseye, it's gonna cover up the you're not gonna be able to see which part of the bullseye yeah you're on yeah and, and so i most, mean it's most rifles are even side they're sighted in at 100 yards anyways most of them uh, isn't that right i keep all mine at 128 yards scotty okay all right well there you go it's a weird it's a, it's a weird it's measurement a, what a coincidence yeah <laughs> but i don't have glasses <laughs> yeah Yet. oh lord Yet. have yeah. mercy yeah. as as he gets them out later whenever he's trying to read something just saying I just, I think with everybody, before they fucking go nuts, be careful where you get your fucking news from. Yeah. That's a huge thing. Uh, and I don't know who to tell you to get your news from. On right. This. I, I don't know who the say. fucking credible sources yeah. are. No, I don't think there there's, are any anymore, there, There's so many. I guess us. There's so many fucking conspiracies. <laughs> yeah, listen to us. We know. We do. We know everything. Oh, yeah. we, we predicted the fucking assassination attempt a week speaking, before it happened. <laughs> speaking of knowing everything, man. <laughs> yeah. How about fucking Team USA basketball? What about them? Damn near lost to uh, South Sudan. South Sudan. They won by one point. (laughs) They were 43-point favorites, Oh, and they lost by one. Uh, And South Sudan had a chance to win it a couple mm -hmm. times. Oh, Jesus. Um, They were up by double digits at halftime. Yeah. South Sudan was. Then, as much as I hate to admit it, I watched the uh, WNBA All-Star I was going to ask you if you did. I did. Oh, that's so fucking and, uh, funny. Dude. Just throwing it out there. The women's team USA played the WNBA team who has Caitlin Clark and they the three of <laughs> three of the players on the WNBA team set records <laughs> including Caitlin Clark. Oh god. Uh, people were People, even after the game, which was fucking phenomenal, by the way, yeah, had me into it the whole fucking time. That's good. Dude, really, really good. And uh, even like the day before with the three-point competitions and shit like that, like the all-star yeah. shoot-arounds and stuff like that, it was interesting, man. Good. It was very interesting. And good it came down to the last shot, and it was good. It was really good. Good for you. But... uh Caitlin Clark scored like something like seven points or something. She didn't score a lot of points, sure. but she had like ten assists. Oh and yeah, fucking dude. She if she ran ex- that team like fucking grease. I mean, <laughs> she put the ball every time. She put the ball where it needed to be. She fucking ran the fucking dude. She is good. So good, man. She's good. And people were still like, "Oh, she only had seven points." Or Shut something. the and fuck I'm like, up, dude. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> like. Yeah, it, it was good. I couldn't believe how I'm good surprised. it was. I'm, yeah. su- I'm surprised. That's that you- <laughs> double the average of the points scored in the average WNBA game. I mean, that's true, too. But, uh, yeah, I was actually pretty impressed, man. Yeah. I 
Especially me watching a woman sport as much she's, as I like women. That's impressive. <laughs> she can stay focused. She's not the only. Uh, she's the only one out there not worried about like licking clam later. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. Most of them are out there. <sighs> they're barely shooting hoop because they want a munch yeah, box. It was, uh, <laughs> it was, it was Good awesome. Good God. Uh, but yeah, I was actually wondering if you saw that, but uh, but that I is, didn't. I I didn't. I saw I saw like hot highlights and shit. But other than that, I didn't watch it. But ladies and gentlemen, that is hot topics. Thank you guys very much for uh, for participating in Month Day Fun Day. Now I get to move on the fun parts of the show. Thank Shooter should have used the golf cart. Shooter should have used the golf cart. Yeah, he he sure should have. Uh, but now we get to move on to Never Have I Ever. Again, thank you guys for participating in Monday Fun Day. Every Friday, we send out a post. Uh, and uh, if you comment something that we like, uh, we will put it on the show. And we'll give you a shout-out for it. So thank you guys for uh, participating. Shout-out to uh, Daniel Gibson Jr., okay. who apparently we've talked about stuff that he's posted before and then never given him credit oh sorry <laughs> and uh so My he bad. was like this will be the third time if you talk about this thing that oh, okay. we talk so we're not gonna talk about it nope absolutely not but I'm hey way to go on the last couple times buddy he's like but then you guys just give up and like i don't know who said it fuck it he's like it's been <laughs> me like three times <laughs> well and there's so a anyway. lot of people there's a lot of people that comment the same exact <clears throat> thing Guess yeah, who, guess who right, gets credit? Right. The first one I see. So anyway. But anyways, uh, I do want to also give another shout out to uh, Will Gonzalez. Uh, the GoFundMe link is on. I can't do it on fucking Instagram for some stupid ass reason. I but sure it's did on, on it's Facebook on, It's on too. Twitter and Facebook. If you haven't already had a chance to go do that, I I donated. I want to try to help him out in any way we can. What's up with, with Will Gonzalez? Uh, Will Gonzalez's mother um, is kind of going through cancer, and they're having to pay medical bills and things like that uh, with kind of kind of rent money so pass uh, yeah so if you can no go, my heart goes out the, the, <laughs> that sucks that, that really sucks. does suck but the gofundme <laughs> link is on our facebook and our twitter go check it out if you can I got better places to now if his dog money. had cancer uh, then jeremy would fucking be all over i'd it. go beat his ass for letting his dog <laughs> get <laughs> cancer <laughs> right but anyways uh never have i ever we're gonna kick this off with ty heath he wants to know never is he a country singer yeah Sounds like you got to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Or a blizzard, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> or a blizzard. He wants to know, never have I ever lied to get laid. Of Dumb. course. 100%. I think that's normal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the first month of any relationship is a lie. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, it is you trying to convince this other person that, that you, you don't worthy, shit yeah. or fart or burp, <laughs> that you always keep your place clean, uh -huh. that you keep your car clean. I mean, oh, yeah. you are fronting, you're trying to be the person she's hoping for rather than who you are. Yeah. And absolutely. And she's doing the same, by the way. I was getting ready to yeah, say that. Right. She doesn't always wear makeup. Or he, in the case of JP. Right. Yeah. Makeup. I didn't want to exclude anybody. Push-up bras. Have your, a talk with HR. Your tits aren't that nice. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to talk to HR. God. HR's mm. Derek. Yeah, that is true. But yes, 100%. The, the first time you tell a girl you love her to try to get laid. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh, next one. I, uh, I swear uh, I don't have a boyfriend. I still tell my wife I like her. <laughs> do you? Yeah. I actually do like my wife. She's awesome. She is I awesome. don't mean it. Oh, I mean it. I tell my wife that all the time. She's like my favorite person. And how she puts up with me on a Nobody daily. knows. Fuck. I want to be on. I know that she has uh, substituted on this show before. I want to be on with her sometime because I have fucking questions. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, <laughs> I, I asked all the questions, questions and she, 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 she didn't have any really great answers. For she, any of them. She's in love with me. It's weird. Uh, I don't like it. Uh -huh. I don't think that's true. <laughs> well, she acts like it. Uh, she was until you bought those green tips by she's accident. After yeah. the, she's after that snowboard money. That's right. Mm. Uh, but anyways, next one comes in from Brady Michael Harrington, serial killer, three names. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever went to a strip club and was absolutely horrified in what I saw. Almost every time I've been. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you like tits. You know what I they got like there? Tits, Pussies and yeah, stuff. They, I love tits, but... Wichita, Kansas is not the place to go see him, mm. friends. Yep, he's right. It's not a good look. He's right. It gets cold here in the winter, and so the ladies have just extra padding. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really... I I've, I went to... I've what's, never been to one that's good. Uh, I, Not Michelle's. What's the other one? There's, there's a strip club that I went... No kidding. I went one time... P-Town. What's P-Town? 
P Town. Yeah, what's P? Not Provincetown P- in Rhode Island? No, no, no. no they, we call that's, it P- that's big we with the gays. P-town. It's it starts Your with the P. Pleasures. Pleasures. That's what it is. P Town. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it, gone now. I went there it? for my first bachelor yeah, party. My, uh, <laughs> it's gone, dude. My sister and her ex uh-huh. tried to open a barbecue restaurant there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> God, get out the disinfectant spray. Didn't oh. go well. One of the best strip club stories. Okay, there's <clears throat> there's a very nice one in Derby <clears throat> called Michelle's Beach House. Yes, they. If you're gonna go to one around here, that's probably the one to go to. Now, people in Derby are uppity and Christian, and what they don't want is for people to see that they're going to the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> and so. It was like always right on the outskirts of town, and then they bought a, a new location more in town. Yeah, right and off the K fifteen, <laughs> the people in Derby did everything they could to try and stop that, and it went to court several times, and there was nothing really they could do, and so they turned that into Michelle's. And what the people of Derby forgot to do was zone out the old one, so the owners turn that one into a second strip club <laughs> in derby that's so great that basically became like the farm club oh, okay. for michelle's that's where they went to learn shit <laughs> oh that's so work terrible. on their slider and shit yeah but <laughs> my horror story from a a uh, strip club uh, i'll tell this okay i know jp knows where i'm talking about there's a bar it used to be i don't know if it still is or not it was nikki's poker room oh yeah before that it was called the pink panty. <laughs> and oh, shit. me and a friend of mine drug our female friend in there because she's super fucking religious. And we just wanted to see if she would go. And by far the most attractive stripper in that place was incredibly aptly named Snaggletooth. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, coming to stage number one, get out your dollar bills. It's the favorite of the crowd. It's uh-huh. Snaggletooth. Oh, God, that's terrible. Now, Snaggletooth <laughs> had this thing that she would do I where bet. she <laughs> just, she didn't have big, like, huge tits, but I'm going to say like a small C. Okay. And so she would have you put a dollar bill in your mouth, and then she would take your head and, like, Use her arms to press her tits together and take your head and ram it into (laughs) her tits. And she would take the dollar bill out. I remember the story now. Well, (laughs) Snaggletooth didn't do a very good job of pressing them together when she did me. (laughs) And ran my nose right into her fucking sternum. (laughs) Bloody. And I'm a bleeder. Uh, I get nosebleeds bad. And when when my nose starts bleeding, we're talking. Tits everywhere. We're talking 30, 45 minutes a lot of times to get it to stop. There's big clots and shit coming out. Oh, Oh, God. So we got everything on the house that night because they were terrified of whatever lawsuit (laughs) that might come their way. And what we didn't want to say with their hospitality that they were showing us is that we would have given anything just to get the fuck out out of there. there. Jesus, that's so fucking funny. That pink panty. That's great. I, I also have a very terrible, terrible story. Um, we went to P town and they, it was with a bunch of guys from work and they put, they were all up on perv row and I came in. Now, what is that? Perv row is the very front row of the, cause of the, I, of the, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Right. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, my boss at, uh, actually invited me, Hey, you gotta come up and get on perv row. So I'm sitting next to my boss <clears throat> and I, there is a gal that comes out, and she, I shit you not, is definitely in her 50s. And her tits <laughs> are, I swear, hanging down below yeah, the fucking dude. waist. That's what you get at Pleasures. Oh, no. Guess what my boss does? <laughs> oh, pays for you lap dance? dance? He yeah. is sliding oh, yeah. in front dollar of bills Fuck, in yeah. front of me, unbeknownst to me, nice. because I am legitimately like closing my eyes and covering oh. them, because I just, it was not good. And sure as shit, this chick comes up to me after she does the dance, and she is following my ass oh, yeah, all dude. over the place trying to get. She give thought me you had lap. mommy issues. Oh, here's God, the thing: is so she terrible. wouldn't work there if there weren't some guys who are into that. I know, I get right? it. I mean, you just look at any porn site. The fucking genres of porn that are out there nowadays. Oh, they're everywhere. Are fucking astounding. Yeah. So if you have porn videos of 
people shitting on other people while they're passed out. <laughs> oh, God. And somebody's into that. Surely there's somebody who's into old ladies with big saggy tits. Oh, for, oh, for sure. sure. Absolutely. By the way, my wife is in her 50s. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was your wife. I would have recognized her. Uh, but anyways, last one comes in from Caleb Hill. He wants to know, never have I ever stuck a part of my body into something and couldn't get it out. I'm so scared of what you're going to fucking say. <laughs> Not that I can think of. I know uh, whenever I was uh, like, uh, I was I was before school. So I was I, trying to think when I was little. I though. was like four or five years old, and I'll never forget it. A kid uh, got, went on the playground and stuck his head in between like the little oh, slide. Oh, yeah, got stuck. Oh, got stuck. Firefighters had to come yeah. and cut that shit. Nice. Yep. So, but no, I feel not like me. I've gotten stuck somewhere before. I just can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh yeah. yeah. Usually w- whenever I stick anything in anything, it's a quick and then a quick Out. and then a quick <laughs> and then a quick. You know what I mean? It's it's a back and forth type. Thing. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's been a long time for you. Too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Jeremy? Uh yeah. Uh not oh, and, and this ain't good or sexual in any way. Uh, when I was in high school, I was working at a uh, at the farmers co op in the grain elevators, and there was a piece of machinery that would sometimes get backed up with the wheat, and you had to shut everything down and grab a hold of the belt and turn shit back by hand just to, to free things up. And my work glove got caught between the belt and the pulley and oh. pulled my fucking fingers up under there and guys had to come with like crowbars and pry my fucking fingers out. I had Yikes. to go to the emergency room. Mm. I didn't break any fingers, but I had like pulley indention marks <laughs> across my fingers for like three days. Oh. Wow. So you almost lost your damn hand, dude. Almost isn't uh, or fingers. I live dangerously, Scotty. You do. You yeah. do. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is never have I ever. Uh, now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. Okay, fine. Okay, that's enough. Uh, but yeah, we get to get on to That's Where I Draw the Line, the very first one. That might line. be my second favorite song of all time. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, dude, it's, I love it. It's Derek good. hates it. Third, that's why third, I like it. Third favorite. Derek does hate it. He says it sounds like a, like a gay strip club's right. hold music. I'm going to um, put it number three on my list. Okay, fair. Yeah, the Menards good. theme. Uh, oh, yeah. I can't and, compete and then with that. Monster Mash. Okay, yeah. very good. <laughs> that was a graveyard smash. Yeah, mm, yes, it was. It was. Uh, but That's Where I Draw the Line. We're going to kick this off with Isaac Isringhausen. Uh, he wants to know, how much of something do you have to own before it becomes hoarding? Jeremy, <coughs> how many Christmas <coughs> trees? As I frequently have pointed out to me, it is not about how much of something you have. It's about how you keep it. <laughs> okay. Where, as long as you can keep it organized, apparently it does not make you a hoarder. <laughs> as long as there is not rotten food and cat piss everywhere oh. that does not make you a hoarder okay okay i don't buy that <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think yeah i think eight christmas trees worth of shit you know? <laughs> this probably makes you a fucking hoarder i don't have a single christmas tree jeremy good not a single one well, good know, for you i know where you can get one <laughs> can i borrow mm. one next year you can't because i guarantee she knows she oh 100 even she with knows. all oh, the yeah. shit she has i i know she knows if, where's this one if you <laughs> borrow she most certainly does if each you, one has its own theme decor <laughs> yeah. yeah and and she has pictures of each one so she can decorate it just like she did last year yeah it she she is an organized hoarder yeah and it's yeah a sickness <laughs> it's it's awesome and it's great it hmm. she's still far cleaner than me yeah, yeah. ever yeah <laughs> uh let's see i don't know i i kind of i i actually kind of agree with what you said initially i, I know it's definitely I, I coming from your too. wife trying no, to I agree convince with that, 100%. you 100 percent. but yeah it's not about how much you got it's, it's not how, how you, it's store, how you it. store it yep, i think that's I a good yeah i like that so. can you still walk through a room yes yeah if, if you can't walk through your room that's, that's bad you're that's, hoarding that's hoarding or will, you, will you your children have, still come yeah. to visit you <laughs> <laughs> apparently i'm hoarding dirty laundry myself <laughs> All right. Uh, next one comes in from Preston Maddox. He wants to know how much is too much sauce on a particular food. I'm a sauce guy. I am too, man. Dude, I like a lot of sauce. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, too much. 
Yeah. Um, I eat like uh, a salad. Uh -huh. If I eat a salad at dressing. work, people are like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. There's no way. You can't put that much dressing on a salad. I'm like, I just did. Lettuce <laughs> is just a vessel to get dressing to your Correct. mouth. Correct. Yes. I, with me, though. And I, chicken nuggets. Oh. Chicken nuggies? Like when I go to McDonald's and get chicken nuggies, oh, I got to buy all this extra sauce because I do like... Two nuggets per container, <laughs> oh my max, God. dude. And if it's the honey, yeah. like the regular honey, it's so little. Yeah, I usually just get one out of there. <laughs> oh <my dude>. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, yeah, I like I, my sauce. I tell you what, um, I, I think I found my my situation. So if I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, if I go to B Dubs, mm -hmm. I get oh you got to get them wet. I get two different kinds of sauce. Yeah, I get Parmesan garlic. Yeah, that's good. They're and good. I normally get wet. I, I tell them wet yeah. flats. Oh, by the way, that means you, PCP is in it, Scotty. Yeah, cool. uh, right. You you fucking idiots that get the drumsticks. You guys are dumb. No, get, you got to go flat. You got to go flats. And uh, and then the other one I get is uh, Caribbean jerk. But I do not get Caribbean jerk wet because it's just it's not the same. That really sounds racist. <laughs> what? Why? Caribbean jerk? Yeah. Oh yeah. Anyways, so yeah, I, I I don't know. I there's a there's it definitely matters on food. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, next one. Do I get to? Oh, I'm sorry. Answer? I'm sorry. My Jesus bad. Christ, you my had bad. me here. Sorry. Sorry. I my drove bad. all the fucking way out here. <laughs> sorry, it took Jim. me two and a half hours by unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Jeremy. How about you? Uh, that's my new green way of traveling. Good for you. Way to help the environment. Mm -hmm. I want video evidence I'm, of this unicycle. You can't have it. <laughs> you cannot have it. Okay, fine. It looks like a Volvo. <laughs> Okay. But trust me, there's only one wheel touching because my tire, is, the tread is so fucking short on the rest of them. So it's just hanging on on one tire. I'm balancing on one fucking tire. That's impressive. Mine too, because I've got one tire that's yeah. bigger apparently. Right. Yep, that's right. How and my transmission is fine. Good. It's a Volvo. Okay. You're damn right it is. All wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Supercharged? Yes. Got no, it. turbo. Turbo, diesel. No. Oh, just turbo. Just turbo. Oh, good. Gas, you. five cylinder. Got it. Okay, anyways, how about you? you want my fucking social security number too? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep, you're in sample. It really depends on the sauce and it depends on the fucking food. I can tell you this, that people that make sandwiches these days in, in restaurants have mm -hmm. gone nuts with the fucking mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. Fuck them. That's not sauce. That's, uh, that's <sighs> unicorn that's a cum. Condiment. That's unicorn cum. Fuck mayonnaise. Mayonnaise I mean, is disgusting. I, I agree, good, but dude. my wife likes Mayo's mayonnaise. Good, that's why that's why you like it. It's because yeah, it's unicorn mayo. Mayo's good. Yeah. My wife likes it and she always tells them light light mayo, light mustard. And I mean they just fucking glob it on. It's like Boom. they're oh, you want to order it special? Fuck you. Um <sighs> But no, it, it really depends on where I'm at, too. Like, if I'm in the store, I don't want a whole lot of sauce because I'm afraid I'm going to get it all over my face and look like a fucking pig. Mm -hmm. In fact, I found a dry rub, a, uh, I can have it with my diet, a, what the fuck is it? It's a uh, Chipotle barbecue dry rub. Ooh. One gram of carbs. That sounds good. Yeah. Really good. So um, I found that I like that. Good. But if I'm at home and I get, like, Buffalo sauce or Parmesan garlic. I do like those as much as it pains me to admit it now. <laughs> yeah, I like a lot of sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And last one uh, comes in from another serial killer. This is Andrew James Heath. He wants to know. Is he related to Ty? Probably. Yeah, I was going to wonder that too. Uh, I would guess. They might be the same person. They're maybe, maybe in a gang. The Heath gang. The Heath, the Heath gang. gang. <laughs> Yeah. They rob Could trains. Be. Yes. It sounds like old West Western. Wasn't there a fucking Heath gang? Maybe. I don't know. These two rapscallions, they run around on their <laughs> golf carts. <laughs> Jesus. Raising Christ. all kinds of cane. Right. Uh, but anyways, Andrew wants to know. <laughs> They're hot rodding all over <laughs> the place. <laughs> yeah. Andrew wants to know. Oh, shit. How many times would you let a woman physically hit you but before you fight back? Ooh, man. I wouldn't let her hit me at all. <laughs> She'd take a swing. <laughs> and then I would dodge that and then just pop back up and fucking uppercut her ass. <laughs> fucking lay that bitch out. Right in her taint. I have no fucking problem laying a bitch out, man. No problem at all. Oh, man. This is, this is where I go with this. It depends on how hard she's trying to hit. If she's, if she's hitting to fucking damage me, to knock me out, uh, equal Which rights. Which she probably can. Equal rights 
deserve equal lefts, bitch. So I that's, well, that's kind of where I'm at. Oh, so you're going to just use your left? Yeah. You're going to slap the shit out of her? I am. Punch her, whatever, yep. but only use the left. Only left. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's a good rule. Right. You can only open hand slap them. That's good. Yeah, I think that's fine. I can still knock the bitch out. Open hand. Does that include a karate chop? One hundred percent, Judy chop. Judy chop. Judy chop. How about you, Jeremy? <sighs> don't go Judy and nobody <laughs> don't need Judy. <laughs> this is not because of my extreme high level of morality or anything like that yeah as much as i know what fucking trouble you'll get into yeah but i don't feel like there's a woman <laughs> out there that i couldn't restrain mm -hmm. i think i think you're. i don't oh, think one hit is gonna fucking hurt could, me enough to where i cannot restrain i can introduce her. you to a couple that uh you're not gonna restrain <laughs> yeah 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 there's a it sounds very, like a fucking challenge oh it, it, it could very well be and we should Put it on the show. Let's there. have let's have a fucking rodeo. Okay. Okay. I'll get on horsey back. Okay. Hobby horse. Hobby horse. Hobby horse. And I'll, fucking, fucking, yeah. I'll lasso and yeah. hog tie these bitches. Yeah, okay. There is I mean, a, there, that would be so entertaining. <laughs> there is a, a javelin thrower from Poland. Yeah. This bitch is fucking, yeah, I think she would give you problems. What about that fucking Ukrainian chick from Dodgeball? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, that, that is that. That woman's actually funny. Yeah. Is she? I can't remember her name, uh, but yeah. She's hilarious, actually. But uh, She doesn't really look like and she's, she's actually prettier. really hot. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, she's, yeah, yeah. She's big boned, but yeah. yeah, yeah she's. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where we draw the line. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, guys, thank you guys so very much for participating in Month Day Fun Day. We're going to get right into it. This first one comes in from William. We Will can use less from the Heath gang. Yes, we can. Uh, this first one comes in from William Morrow. I don't know why I thought he had a wheelchair. He does not have a wheelchair. <laughs> This is the wheelchair guy that you said has a wheel, and he doesn't? He doesn't. I, okay. This isn't the dick that plays the sled hockey, is it? No, no, no. That's Luke. Oh. No, that's Luke. No. Okay, so William Morrow. William, William has, is just fine. He is just fine. By the way, people. Uses, has control did over the legs. Did he message you and be like, yo, Yeah, he did. Bro, <laughs> it's uh, like, bro, I do, I do not. I am good. He didn't want to have that stolen valor. You, right. You know? <laughs> right. Uh, but he was. I, I get that bullshit every time I wear a fucking neckerchief. People are like, We're, you're a fucking Cub Scout? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, no, I just look good in a neckerchief. I never said I was a fucking Cub Scout, okay? Oh, Jesus. Anyways, used to be. Willi I got drummed out. William wants to know, if you could open up your own bar, what would you name it? I'm taking JPs. I'm going to open up Copters. Copters? <laughs> okay. I fucking love that. Okay. How about you, JP? Uh, I would probably call it Cunts. Cunts? Yeah. Oh, that, that sounds fun. Because that's who goes out to bars. <laughs> oh, cunts? Yeah. Oh, man, there's some good ones out there. No. Yeah. Nope. Oh, fine. Nope. How about you, Jeremy? The Yodeling Pickle. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Fuck yes. That's great. I'm going to Jeremy's bar. I am too. And then there will be a second one called the Electronic Yodeling Pickle where <laughs> they only play EDM. Oh, like Aldi and Aldi South, huh? Yeah. Good deal. Uh, have you guys, Either way. By the way. The uh, only people that are going there are gay dudes. <laughs> Either way. Yeah. Speaking of that shit. Yeah. Have you guys seen the movie Ricky Stanicki? No. On no. Amazon Prime? Uh -huh. no. It's got Andrew Santino. It's got John Cena. It's got Zac Efron in it. It's actually a very funny movie. I haven't seen wow. it. Wow. Okay. But it's basically they make up this fake friend when they're little kids to mm -hmm. get them out of trouble. They blame it on this guy, Ricky Stanicki. And then Ricky and, Stanicki comes to life. Well, then they everybody starts demanding finally to meet Ricky Stanicki and they have to hire an actor. To play Ricky Stanicki. Oh, okay. Great. And so, anyways, I'll tell you the biggest bullshit part of that movie is that they use Ricky as an excuse to sneak away to go see a Mark Ribolet concert. <laughs> and they had a good time, which I know can't <laughs> fucking happen. Because <laughs> um, that guy sucks. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? The concert sucked, but everything leading up to going to the concert was fucking hilarious. You asking the, the the hotel receptionist person if they had a Nordic track absolutely killed me. Yeah, I'm a very funny person. Oh, Scotty. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking great. All right. Next one. Little known fact, I invented Nordic track. Good for you, buddy. Uh, next one comes in from Cole. I believe it's it's Dunk Dunkel? Dunkel. Dunkel. Eh, we're going to go with Dunkel. 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 Eh, let's go with that. Uh, but Cole, he wants to know. Heath. Heath. <laughs> Cole Heath. <laughs> Cole Heath. Uh, he wants to know, what's one superpower you would not want? 
reading people's minds. A hundred percent. That's easy. Yeah. That is immediately what, because I don't want to know what some of you sick and yeah. twisted. I don't want to no get thanks. inside of JP's mind. Oh, yeah, you The do, amount dude. of gay porn that I would oh. I would see it would just be uh, gross. My God, man. So absolutely not. I do not want that. How, yeah. about, how about you, Jeremy? Okay, are, are you saying that we could only have one superpower yeah only you have one that you don't want what's one that you just what you do not want well okay here's the thing there's a a wonderful science communicator on youtube called kyle hill who breaks down uh basically how you'd never want to just have one superpower Hmm. uh because like without extreme durability Mm -hmm. like having super strength you just tear yourself in half Ah, or the ability to fly you could only go like ten thousand feet up and only like 60 miles an hour so you might as well just drive or take a fucking plane (laughs) like it wouldn't do any good if you could run super fast you would burn yourself up i mean they're just all kinds of shit that you don't ever just want one superpower never thought of that um so i'm gonna go with the ability to read minds oh yeah (laughs) yep so good so so we got a clean sweep clean sweep on that one all right (laughs) Uh, let's see. Next one. <laughs> that was a long way to uh-huh. go. That's a got. long uh-huh. way to say. We got I there. wanted to put a Kyle Hill <laughs> fucking pack Reference in there. I like the guy. He, yeah. he grows his hair really long, so he looks like fucking Thor. Oh, nice. cool. And, but like he's that. he's very educational. Knows what he's talking about. Okay. Uh, next one comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know, what are the worst negotiating tactics? Jump! <laughs> Just fucking do it already. I got dinner waiting on me at home. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. Yeah. I double dog <laughs> double dare you. Dog bet dare you, you won't. Jump. Bet, bet you won't. You won't. <laughs> bet you won't. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Is that your answer, Jeremy? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, what are we negotiating here? I don't know. I, all I'm thinking is like a hostage situation and you're trying to negotiate with them. Like, yeah, I, I bet you fucking won't. <laughs> you either fucking come yeah. out here right now or we're coming in. <laughs> Fuck the sure. <your> hostages. <laughs> I'll trade you all the hostages for 15 minutes with this dong. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And show it to him. So they <laughs> show it to him. <laughs> it's the smallest little wiener. Uh, yeah, flaccid. Yeah, flaccid. Looks and like I'm going to be measuring it. Uh-huh. Did, you, did you hear that from last week's episode, Jeremy? I heard that from the poker game. Oh, that's when right. You were talking. That's right. I forgot like about that. Like an asshole. I wasn't an asshole. Just fucking running your goddamn trap and I making was. conversation and shit. We we're all sick of it. I know. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Mason Lind. He wants to know weird things to chant during a sporting event. Uh, hey, better, better, better. Hey, better. And it's fucking golf <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> or fucking hockey. Jesus Christ. That'd be Christ. weird. Oh, man. No, I, like I'm just thinking like some. The, Hell no, we won't go. <laughs> Hell no, yeah. we won't go. Uh, Black Lives Matter. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm just Why? Because they don't? No, they, Is of that course what you they mean do. by that, Scotty? No, yeah. no actually, I got to. Oh, all lives matter. Go into a sporting event and like oh, have that. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Is fucking Hulk Hogan going to show up now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Any minute now. Absolutely. Any minute now. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, let's go White Sox. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite thing. Huh? I fucking Good love one. it. Uh, and last question comes in That's from... That's a callback to a callback. Oh, it was. That's impressive. It was. Kick him in the pussy. <laughs> Kick him in the pussy. <laughs> uh, At a boxing match. Uh, no, gra- give him the old dick twist. The old <laughs> dick, dick twist. twist. <laughs> Check his eye. Twist his fucking dick. <laughs> Whoop his ass, Earl. That's right. The old dick the old twist. Dick twist. Uh, uh, last one comes in from Nick Poirier or Poirier. I'm not sure. Probably Poirier. I like Poirier. That's what it should be. If it, if he pronounces the R, he's wrong. Uh, but he wants to know what's the funniest way to give someone bad news. Ooh, I would want I mean, it like, depends on the news. Oh man. No, like, like bad news. Uh, I want like inf- sorry I don't have the answer <laughs> but you have fucking cancer oh my god <laughs> and you're gonna die oh, but while you're living <laughs> let's just keep laughing oh lord <laughs> fucking barbershop quartet 
That's good. He only cures the fuck a guy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I mean, you know. Oh, that's I good. Don't know. I dig it. I, I. But they really didn't have cancer. I just want him to fuck me. Oh, okay. Well, how about okay. if you had cancer uh-huh. and I said, "Look, I can cure your cancer. You got to fuck me. You're dying. I'm dying. Sure <laughs> am. Absolutely." <laughs> absolutely I'm, he gets to be top and he still wouldn't yeah, he just no, die no. nope yeah no. Dead. is that because you can't get an erection scotty no it's just being it's just not he something can. it's just not he something just you try he just needs an ar-15 yeah, yeah that's yeah, true that one ammo. touch of that ar-15 uh, with yeah. that green tipped ammo oh boy oh that scope is so cheap <laughs> <laughs> i don't care uh, but no, I, um, I I want theme music. That's baby. Yeah. I, I, that's kind of, I think, that's, yeah, that would yeah. be great. How about you, Jeremy? I have some bad news, but I can't tell you because your dog's not on fucking leash. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much for participating in Monday Fun Day. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, JP fucking killed it. Not shocked at all that JP fucking absolutely murdered. Um, I got uh, got second. No, I didn't. I got last. That's right. Like normal. Uh, Derek got second. I got last. But because Derek's not here, I get the uh, Eiffel Tower picks this week. JP gets the championship picks. And Mr. Jeremy Joseph gets the number one overall pick. And this week's draft, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a fun one. It is going what, to- what does that mean, Eiffel Tower? I'm in the middle. <laughs> oh, it's a sex thing. I get it. There it is. All right. Uh, but anyways, uh, so yeah, JP gets the championship picks. I get the Eiffel Tower picks. Jeremy Joseph gets the number one overall pick. And this week's draft is going to be our favorite sounds. That's right. It seems really fucking generic. I, it is really fucking generic, but I th- kind of like it. We can. Uh, this is going to be interesting. I know JP is going to fuck it up somehow. I know he is going to. But yeah, so our favorite sounds is going to be this week's draft, and uh, Jeremy Joseph gets to uh, start off. What is your number one overall pick of your favorite sound? I'm going to go with the General Lee horn. (laughs) The General Lee horn. Okay. All right. I like it. I'm surprised. That's probably one of Scotty's picks for sure. (laughs) No, it's not. He just likes the flag. Yeah, Uh, he does. Nay, no. Come on. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with my number one, my number one overall pick, uh, as far as my, my favorite sound is a thunderstorm. Mm. It, I, that's, I fucking love it, but my dog fucking hates it <laughs> anyways. All right. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. Okay. I'm going to go with old timey car horn, old timey car. Oh, horn. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. No, All right. That one. All right. And, uh, and you uh, get another one. The sound that it makes when you throw a perfect strike. The crash oh, of the, the pop mm-hmm. of the glove. The, mm-hmm. the fucking, oh. when you throw a perfect strike. No, I think strike, he's talking the bowling, bowling, Scotty. Okay, good. No, when you throw a perfect fucking strike. Okay, okay. And the pins crash the way they, I mean, when you get the right entry angle and the dude, it makes such a hollow fucking banging sound. It's awesome. Okay, well. Yeah, it's one of my favorite sounds. I, I thought you were talking You're, a different one. No. So I'm going to take it you because take that. that is That's 100. Cool. It's good. I like it. That I mean, I I'll never I'll never get over it, but there was a there was a Asian guy, Asian pitcher and it could have been um Otani right before he was coming over. There was a video of Show him. Show or the other one. The other one. Yeah. Um they uh, they have a video of him in like a hitting uh, facility and it's echoey and stuff, uh-huh. and he is just throws in fucking piss missiles, and that catcher is oh, just that pop. pop. Yeah, dude. That is, that is uh, I like that sound. Yeah, I love it. All right, Jeremy, you get two in a row. The sound of a clown being raped. <laughs> that is that. 
<laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, just that, a, I think that just won him the draft. A lot, of, sure. a lot of just beeping and slide whistles. <laughs> <laughs> Sad ones, too. Oh, God. A, uh, just won him you gotta use, draft, you gotta use the draft. You, you can't use the, the R word. You have to do uh, uh, grape. Like the fruit. Sexually assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Sexually assaulted clown. All right. And then you get one more pick. Oh, God. I am going to say... No, JP. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you my next favorite sound. No. <clears throat> the sound of a beer being poured into a glass. Ooh. I like that sound. Being poured? Okay. Yeah. That. Oh, okay. Okay. The bubbles and shit. <laughs> that was good. I, that is good. That was a good I, I am known as the man of a thousand sounds. <laughs> yeah. That happens to be all thousand of them. Yeah. Fair. Fair. Uh, um... <laughs> What if it's a light beer? Does it sound different? You know, in the early 90s, I actually earned the moniker of the bad boy of hopscotch. (laughs) uh, You earned earned it. I was on the cover of uh, Hopscotch Quarterly. Hopscotch Quarterly. Nice. Yeah. (laughs) I I, I better take it before somebody else does. Uh, It's the oldest joke, and it's still fucking funny. The fart. Farts are funny. Sure they are, Scotty. They are. Okay. (laughs) And it, and it doesn't matter. They, All right. I, I, I'm going to take the fart. I love that sound. All right. It makes me giggle. How about, uh, JP, you get two in a row? All right. Uh, the first one is the sound of a, a very, uh, like a hot rod, a car. Oh. With hot a, riding around? With a big, <laughs> hot no, riding around? With a big cam. Uh huh. It's got that hollow fucking tick to it almost. Okay. That, fuck, dude. I like it. You want to get me hard. That'll just go to, do just it. go to a top fuel. Oh, Good, fuck, top fuel. Yeah, right. That's yeah. yeah. The, oh, Fuck. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's Love good. it. It's Love good. it. Okay. And then the other one is this sound right here. Oh, man. What in the fuck is that? Oh, Sega. Sega. Yeah. Sega intro. Okay. Dude, you heard that sound. You knew something was going to happen. 100%. Yeah, Absolutely. I was so excited. When That's we got good. Sega. That's good. Yeah. Oh, man. Damn it. That's it. That's a good one. I like that. Because I, I had a Game Gear. Yeah. And every every yeah, game. Every game. I good love sh- that. Good yeah. shit. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to baseball again, cause it's, it's, it's the best sport ever. Uh, but I'm going to go with the crack of a bat. Okay. Wood bat. Yep. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good Sorry. for you, Scotty. Sorry. Fuck yeah. off. You're going to lose. I, I'm going to lose every <laughs> week. I could have the best picks out of everybody and I'm but still going to lose. But you don't. But I don't. That's the way it happens. <laughs> That's what it is. Jeremy Joseph, uh, you get your last two I picks. I have the best. I, okay, I don't know what this thing is called, but it has the best fucking sound. Okay. It is this guitar. La- that's it. That's it. <laughs> a guitar, an acoustic guitar, more like a banjo, like a <laughs> No, um it is this laser rust removal fucking thing. Oh, I know what you're yes. talking about. Does it make a sound? Oh, yes. I didn't know they made sound. Yes. Oh, they yeah. They're yeah. fucking it's cool. The best fucking sound. It kind of sounds like a didgeridoo. And you can watch it. Kind for, of. You can watch it for it's, an hour. It's it like sounds a, like an electric didgeridoo, which could be fucking cool. Fuck yeah. I've been taking didgeridoo lessons. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I haven't figured out how to switch notes yet. Okay. <laughs> and you get one more. Uh, <laughs> I had one. What was it? <laughs> I, I need to stop writing my fucking Lego thing and start writing <laughs> down my dick. Uh, I've got two for you, and I, I can't believe that uh, we've got this far without you picking it. Um, Please The don't. sound of Nancy Kerrigan <laughs> screaming, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> that is not it. Well, uh, I am going to wrap this up with uh, a yodeling pickle. Hey. Yeah. Scotty finally made it funny. I did. It's too fresh. Yeah. <laughs> it's barely in the lexicon. It is in the lexicon. It is in the lexicon, but I that's fucking hilarious. Right. Yodeling pickle is Electronic awesome. yodeling pickle. An electronic yodeling pickle. Uh, as my last pick. And I, I like the idea of an acoustic. <laughs> an right. Acoustic. I was just getting ready to say the same thing. Like, if like, we could do it unelectronically, that would be fucking impressive. <laughs> Yodeling pickle unplugged. Yes. <laughs> and then JP. And somehow it's up there with Kurt Cobain. <laughs> what is your last pick, JP? The, the sound, the crackle uh-huh. that it makes when you light a fresh bowl. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> love it. Oh, my oh, God. Love it. Yeah. 
Oh, man. Do we have any honorable mentions? Jeremy Joseph. Meef. I've got Meef. plenty. Yeah. yeah. I mean. How you did not pick a kazoo, Jeremy, absolutely just surprises the shit out of me. I'm a little kazooed out. He's Are you? The, okay. the moved on to the didgeridoo yeah, and, and the didgeridoo. pickle. The didgeridoo is basically just a big kazoo. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, true. That's true. Uh, but no, I, I, I did. Uh, I was thinking of like crashing waves at the beach, like waves, stuff like that. Sure. Yeah. You bet. Uh, the sound of dial-up internet. Oh, wow. That was another one of those things. When you heard that, something was about to happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, dong, dong, dong. Do you remember the original? Welcome. You've got mail. That's the one. That's what I was getting ready to say that. I was like, when you get an email back in the day, you've Welcome. got mail. You've JP's got mail. was M-A-L-E. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Back then, I did. <laughs> uh, Why I, did I sign up for the wrong Hotmail account, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was one other sound that it was uh, Olmec from uh, Legends of the Hidden oh, Temple. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. fucking loved it every time he said Silver Snakes. Whew. That's my shit. <laughs> Mr. Anyway. Rogers cutting construction paper. Oh, there you go. oh I like yeah, that. I like that. Bob Ross painting. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, Bob that's... Ross is weird fucking kid. He's <laughs> just as weird as he is. Yeah. Maybe weird. But you know what? He could fucking sure paint mountains, Jeremy. He, happy ones. Happy ones. Happy ones. Yeah. With tree, yeah. And trees with friends. Happy little trees. Happy little trees. Bob Ross had, Bob Ross's kid had an example to see what you grow up into, and he still chose that still route. Still chose it, yeah. <laughs> uh, shit. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft of our favorite sounds. You can go and vote on Facebook.com. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love yeah. that one. Oh, yeah. Anything uh, Mitch Hedberg says. <laughs> that, yes. Gotta absolutely. give it the old hawk to a hawk. spit on that thing. I'm, I'm over that. Boy. I'm never going to be I, over you that. You talk about that. somebody who's going to crash hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's got she like is. stand up dates and stuff set, yeah. and it's oh, like you've ouch. got one note. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And you're going to come out, and everybody's going to just be, do the hawk to a thing. Uh-huh. And she's going to be trying to do her shit jokes. And yeah, it's gonna be like a fucking it's gonna be Burt Kreischer fucking yeah cool. show. Anyways, uh, but yes, you can go and vote uh, on facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or X, which is at l o t sidelines. Uh, but yeah, go and vote for the uh, the list of of the sounds that you like the most, uh, and whoever wins gets uh, gets a DEI blowjob from JP. There you go. All right, everybody. God, have I hope I win. I hope you do. Yeah, if you win, you get to do it to yourself. Oh, man. Good job. You got to hold my ankles. Nope, not going to do it. Uh, but anyways. Just hold his fucking ankles, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, dude, Why do you got to be such a prick? Because I'm not going to do it. Anyways. You're, I saw your dog, Joe. They're not even on leashes. That's I true. promise you this. If you hold my ankles, you'll have a whole new favorite sound list. That's <laughs> disgusting. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, now I get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Lego. Yeah. Yes. Okay, shut up. Okay. <laughs> Ram- Ramry Island was a very coveted island uh, in the southern front of the Burma campaign during World War II. Uh, it contained a great deal of dry, flat land that surrounded a very swampy center and that made it really good for building runways that could launch offensives from and uh, it was held by the uh the japanese until uh january 14th of 1945 and that's when allied forces launched an attack on this island and starts driving these fuckers back uh this went on for several days uh on february 17th Japanese had a chance to surrender. There were approximately a thousand of these fuckers left. They had a chance to surrender, but Japanese don't do that. So they chose to retreat further back into the swamp. They thought maybe they could escape their soldier, the, the enemy soldiers, and they would just go away. Uh, there were no soldiers in there, but what there were was a shitload of saltwater crocodiles. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Yes. I've heard that. Over the course of the next five days, These soldiers were basically picked off and eaten one by one. And uh, after five days, 500 of them came back (laughs) and and finally surrendered. 
but apparently the allied forces had to sit outside the swamp and listen to them being oh. eaten and hear their screams and now your child can recreate the magic <laughs> of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and legos legos what a ripper, <laughs> Ooh, what a ripper. <laughs> crikey crikey oh shit good stuff <clears throat> anyways uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? Before we get to the fucking shitty situation, here's another shitty situation. What if you actually had three different sized tires on your fucking car? <laughs> we go outside for break every single episode, uh -huh. and uh, and JP has a cigarette. I, I think you could offset. Yeah. The, the yeah. one that's just get it balanced on either side. Yeah, yeah. you might twist the frame <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you know. So I'm out looking at them, and, and I'm looking at these tires while they have tread on them. Good for you. And it's probably yeah, a much dude. better situation than what he was before, I guarantee it, considering how much freaking cords were showing on the previous set. That was a bad deal. But now JP has the correct size tires on the front axle of his vehicle with two different other size tires on the rear. So Hey, man. There you go, buddy. Good job. I would they suggest be drive around on Ford Donuts. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. what I think people should do. That way, they're all the same size. Yep, that's right. You get equal traction amongst all of them. Uh huh. Yep, for sure. When I was in high school, we bought a shitty Mercury Montego that ran but had no title and had no tires on it, and we put uh, implement tires on them, which have no tread. They it's <laughs> like round yeah. groove tread. There's there's no side to side tread on it. And we just went out in the country and tore this thing the fuck up. And <laughs> it was fun. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. Uh, but anyways, uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is would you rather every single time you go into a strip club, all of the dancers are over the age of 50, or would you rather be a hostage with the worst negotiator? I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase. I'm going to the strip club Me because too. eventually... I'm going to be 55 and a 50 year old stripper, not that bad. So I'm going to go with that. Well, I'm going to a strip club because I don't ever go. So, <laughs> and if I did go and there are a bunch of 50 year olds, it wouldn't bother me a bit because I ain't looking at them anyway. Well, not only that, but they're also your age. Yeah, yeah I feel you. like as a 47 year old, 50 year olds aren't that bad. Exactly. That's uh, like I say, my wife is over 50. Yeah. She looks great, by the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> no no don't go putting those fucking thoughts in her head <laughs> yeah I'm okay, okay fine uh but uh, is that your answer jeremy i don't know okay <laughs> and i'll tell you why just for the fucking story <laughs> that you would get from yeah, that's true, being too. a hostage because i gotta think you're probably gonna get out of there just for the confusion <laughs> on the hostage taker when he's negotiating with this guy and he's like all right we're sending in the crate of guns <laughs> Yeah. We've also got a case of ramen noodles and your helicopter is on the way. <laughs> you want to take how many hostages with you? All of them? Okay. <laughs> All right. We can do that. We oh. also have a billion dollars here for you. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. I, don't, I think you're going to die. Yeah. I think you're going to bad with negotiator. Bad negotiator. And if that's the case, the I wouldn't negotiator. have to be on this fucking show that's anymore. True too. <laughs> okay. okay I, I like to change my fucking <laughs> answer. Damn it. Oh, fine. You guys are so mean. But anyways. Uh, well, yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be this uh, this week's show. And thank you very much to Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Always good to see you, buddy. Yeah. It, it is. I'm happy to see you too, JP. Yep. And uh, as well, JP. <laughs> Yeah, got to love it. Uh, thank you guys, actually, both both of you very much. I sincerely do appreciate it. And go and get your tickets for yeah. the uh, comedy show at uh, CSB here in Wichita. Less than a month away now. It is on August the 18th, which is a Sunday at 530. Uh, I know we will have JP will be there. Give the address. Standard. I think I know where this is at. I don't know the address. It's downtown somewhere. It's downtown. <laughs> is it kind of in the Delano? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so, just yeah. right I believe I do know. Yep, yep, so yep. Delano, everybody. Yeah, Delano. Uh, but yeah, the you good, know, like Danny Delaney. Right. Yep. <laughs> it's named after him. It is. It is. Poorly. Yeah, they misspelled it. Uh, but no, you're going to have JP. You're going to have Derek the Rec Alders. You're going to have Steve Peters, uh, Travis Cagle. Uh, anybody else going to be? A bunch uh, of others. Jeremy Joseph, are you doing comedy? Are you, I, are, no. you make, are you making jokes? No. Okay. I retired a long time ago. <clears throat> I don't blame you. Again, I don't get jokes. <laughs> Fine. Uh, but go and get your tickets uh, again, August 18th. I'm, I bet you if you don't get them fast, it will be sold out. 
Uh, but yes, thank you guys so very much and sincerely do appreciate all that you guys do. If you haven't already, please do us a favor and subscribe to our channel and also leave a like and leave a comment that helps us out, especially since we are not really being paid by YouTube anymore. Uh, we're still doing this show just because of the, we have, you know, what do you we mean we? We never were. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, but anyways, as we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... I hope you find out this upcoming school year that Terrence Howard is your kid's new math and science teacher. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us... Uh, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Uh, have no hearts. Have <laughs> Until next time... Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>